Hello and welcome to the Easy HR weekly update. It's the update of all things HR so you can concentrate on what you do best and that's running your business. Uh, the big news out this week is flexible working guidance has been released by the government so employees now have a great understanding in terms of what's going on. I suspect most employees haven't seen that because it's sneaked under the radar on the 16th. Um, within that there's quite a few details that employees need to be aware of and it's in around the process of how you manage this. So from the uh, from April employees can request a flexible working from first day of employment and they can make up to two requests per year. Uh, the devil is always on the detail and the detail within this is that the process to review these has changed significantly. If you ha if an employee makes a request there's an obligation to sit down with an employee to review it, you need to formally invite this individual to a meeting though there's been no suggestion that needs to be uh, they need to be formally accompanied to the meeting though we'd probably advise that to be fair. Um, if you can't support an employee's request, there's much more ob obligation to see one, how can you uh, retain the ethos of what the individuals requested, and then how you can how can you support make reasonable steps to accommodate a flexible request, a flexible working request that works for them as well. Uh, additionally, they're quite clear about the fact that this process should take no longer than two months, uh, and that's from the date that it's submitted through to the any completion of appeal. So that whole process can't go any more than two months from that. Uh, there's a lot to take and a lot to consume with this and employers should be looking at the policies and processes, get things in place, get managers trained up because I do feel some people will fall foul of this when it's first uh, announced because there's quite a few people probably aware of it but aren't aware that the code of practice has now been updated. Uh, we've got a copy to the guidance from the government and also we've done a deeper dive in the blog as well so you've got information available and what you need to consider as part of next steps. Uh, additionally, in bright news for employers, uh, the ONS have confirmed that inflation and wage, wages are starting to trend downwards, well not downwards, but they're starting to even out a bit more. The increase is seen are much, much lower than what we've seen before, and that's trending in line with inflation, and also seems to be a, 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 a larger stabilisation of the job market as well. So we're less, there's less competitiveness for jobs out there, and obviously employers don't feel obligated to look at bigger increases for this next year. Uh, obviously, it will be an interesting, interesting year in 2024. If you need any help with any of these any of these issues or your HR headache, please don't hesitate to get in contact. All the best. Bye.